Let it be borne in mind that the tragedy of life does not lie in not reaching your goals. The tragedy lies in having no goals to reach for. It's not a calamity to die with dreams unfulfilled, but it is a calamity to have no dreams. We have a goal and we have a dream. Our goal is to take back control of the United States Congress in 2010. is to restore the American dream because our government has been hijacked by liberals and we are going to take it back. My father and mother grew up on a small farm. My dad walked off of the farm at the age of 18 literally with just the clothes on his back to pursue his American dream. And he did. One of his American dreams was for his sons to get a little bit better start in life, like we want for our children and grandchildren. My dad and my mom, they were able to achieve their American dream because they realized that if they kept their faith in God, their faith in themselves, and their faith in the greatest country in the world that they could achieve their dreams and that's the lesson that they taught me and my brother. Believe in God. Believe in yourself. And believe in the greatest country in the world. Now the liberals don't like the fact that you came out for this event tonight. They want you to be discouraged. They really I want you to be discouraged. I get calls on my radio show from time to time, and one of the questions that I get over and over and over again, Mr. King, I'm frustrated. I'm teed off. I said, welcome to the club, number one. What can I do? I said, well, the first thing that you can do is, are you ready to vote? Yes. Do you vote? Yes. And I said, are you familiar with that part of the Declaration of Independence that says life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness? And they say, yes. Then here's what you can do. Keep reading. Don't stop there. Because if you keep reading, it says that whenever any form of government becomes destructive of those ideals, it is the right of the people to alter or abolish it. We've got to alter it. of the White House. Very simply and very quickly. We are going to abolish 
the occupant of the White House, and we are going to alter the control of Congress because the American people have awakened. They have awakened and they have decided that they are going to take back their government. We are going to take back our government. One of the things that the liberals and the media like to do is they like to label us Tea Party people, rally conferences as crazies. Well, I have spoken at over 30 Tea Party rallies and conferences representing these organizations and others all around this country for the last year and a half. And so when they first start to try and label us as crazy on my radio show, I said, well, I'm a Tea Party person. I want less government. I want fiscal responsibility. I want them to recognize our constitutional liberties. So yeah, call me crazy because I'm crazy about the Declaration of Independence and I'm crazy about the Constitution of the United States of America. That's what we're crazy about. All of us crazy. Now I know that the liberals also want you to believe that we can't get this done, but I'm here to tell you, I know that we can. And you heard that this is the greatest election, the most critical election in our lives, and it is. Just like many of the others have been the most critical in our lifetime. But this one is even more critical. And we have to basically seize this moment and do what we can do. The words of the closing song of the 2000 Olympics reminded us that if you look inside, you will find just what you can do. We all have different skills, abilities. Look inside. One of the things that you're doing is you're here today to send a message that we the people are still in charge of this country. And I want to remind you that we do in fact have to seize this moment because of Dr. Benjamin E. Mays, the late president of America of Morehouse College where I attended school used to remind the young men of Morehouse, life is just a minute, only 60 seconds in. Force upon you, can't refuse it, didn't seek it, didn't choose it, but it's up to you to use it. You must suffer if you lose it, give an account if you abuse it, just a tiny, little minute, but eternity is in it. The, the, the founding fathers of this nation, they did their job. It is now up to us to be the defending fathers of this nation because the United States of America is not going to become the United States of Europe, not on our watch.